All right. First time in a long while since I've had to pull out this particular avatar. But we're doing some light gun style action for tonight. With a game that, in all honesty, like, between all, like, the different, like, major, like, arcade rail shooter type releases that came out on the Wii, I, for whatever reason, never played, like, the, the two Chronicles, like, RE games. Like, I always just, like, uh, for me, like, it was always first and foremost, like, the Sega ports of, like, their arcade classics, plus House of the Dead Overkill. I mean, I think I did check out Dead Space Extraction at least once, but that was kind of it. But hey, I've kind of been getting back into... Well, mostly I, I uh, got back into playing Ghost Squad. And at the same time, I've still kind of had Resident Evil on my brain just from playing a whole bunch of other old games in the series from the past couple weeks. So the stars aligned, and I was like, "Fuck it, might as well, might as well just go in on this. See what, see what batshit nonsense this has to offer. This fucking rail shooter from the Welcome from the creators of Dead Aim." Chronicles, accessing file number two four nine eight one. Yes, that is true. Cavia did work on both Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles. Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It's the thread title. Uh, not thread. The stream city, title. The fifth gun survivor. Although, given like that big the emphasis on Wesker of all things, I I was honestly tempted to go with the alternate title of the Villains Never Die. Because Dead Aim's death, Japanese title is death. fucking amazing. Biohazard Survivor 4 and Heroes Never Die. Also, man, just Umbrella speaking of Wesker, remember when this was the voice, like pre DC Douglas? But beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswell E. Spencer's. I want to say that this was the voice actor that they had, like, ever since Remake 1. Although it's been a while, I forget. No, no, actually, I think Remake, his voice was not quite like this. In RE0, of all things, it was. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City in the Arklay Mountains. Oh, uh, yeah, and of course, speaking of RE0, you know, that's the first thing we're going to have to go through is actually playing through the scenario of... One of the more disappointing mainline games in the series. Which is frustrating because that game is real pretty. And the Ecliptic Express is like such a fantastic section of that game. Which is like, man, it really is a shame that like the not Spencer Mansion and everything afterwards is just so ranging from mediocre to bad. Like outright bad. But I'd still probably like it more than Code Veronica. Now then, let's get started on the, on like a shortened and more dramatized uh, retelling of events from the adventures of Billy fucking Cohen. Also because I am essentially playing this for the first time barring like a test run of this level just to make sure I would uh... actually hold on I wanted to actually check something with the options because I just remembered because of like my practice runs from this there'd be a way to okay no that's just difficulty I'm not using a zapper or similar shell because I uh, like in my test run I did briefly try having it set to to that you know like the zapper setting I don't have the actual zapper I just have like some regular like like 
pistol shaped like shelves for the for the Wii remote to hold in with like a port for the nunchuck. But problem I ran into that is like one of the mechanics you have in this game is very reliant on you just like shaking the Wii remote and it's I found uh and I just did not find it as like reliable to do compared to just holding it in my hands like so. So yeah, type A, we're sticking with that. Green setup, subtitles on, of course. But damn it, no. Yeah, yeah, nothing to turn off tutorials, which I know is gonna be like a constant interruption since this is the fresh save file. But let's start. As one of the greatest heroes of the Resident Evil series, was a storm who should come back, or at the very the least have like grass. have some recognition thrown to him as like a playable area. character in Mercenaries. But the announcement was suddenly cut off. Although I guess like in a Mercs game where silence. you know it was actually challenging and like the and burst. the gameplay mechanics and game feel were actually up to snuff. Like, yeah, I guess what I say should have been in a Mercs game. I specify should have been in a Mercs mode any time from Stars fucking, here. like, 2005 there? to 2012. Stars here. Is I am from Mexico. There? Welcome, uh, literal Albert Wesker. <laughs> Hope you're having a good evening. Okay, stop being a coward right now, and there he is! Yeah! God. It's like, this and another cutscene later on in the RE0 scenario is just... Like, like, like this game is already taking a character that really had nothing to personality other than just cool factor and upping the cool factor by, like, times five. hold on the whole arresting me thing. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Also, that voice line does not match up at all with, I think, what is the actual voice actor for the rest of the game. Yes, I know how to do that. Just, just stop interrupting me so I can get my fucking critical shots. There we go. Yep, this is just, uh, yeah, this is another light gun type of Resident Evil game, except unlike the Gun Survivor games, it is just more directly a, uh, more directly an arcade style game and not like the weird hybrid. That the uh, that like all the gun survivors were. Let's head upstairs. They're on the stairs too. Yep, that's definitely what I've been doing. The the critical shots, which which I will say, um, not a bad idea. The train. It's moving. Who's driving this thing? How the hell would I know? You better go find out. Ah, damn it. And... Oh, wow. I think I just killed off all the leeches before they fully spawned in. Oh, no. There they are. Anyway, this is what I was talking about with why I just could not really use the, uh... Like my uh, gun shell controllers for this. Because uh, just like it does not feel good to like try and like wave this thing around like a knife when it's in the shape of a gun and you're holding it by like the, the handle. There we go. But, he, but just from, like, my test run of, like, 
of this level. Like, I can't remember exactly, like, what... Like, what I thought of the game as far as it existing beforehand, or... Like, the reason why I didn't think to play this before. But honestly, it's not too bad. Aside from, you know, the obvious frame rate issues, as you're seeing. Okay. Another green herb. Don't mind if I do. No, this... Uh, so, I'd, I'd have to look up again because I think, if I recall, the sequel, Dark Side Chronicles, is... It does have, like, a PS3 version, but... But no, I'm pretty sure Umbrella Chronicles is still only, like, a Wii exclusive. Yeah, you're you're only gonna get this if you have if you have that system, or 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 you know you could use Dolphin and emulate it on your PC that way. Map the map the aiming to a mouse. Maybe you'd even have better chances of like making the making it run at like, at like a much better frame rate, you know? Because at least from like one part I remember in this in this level, I was like, oh boy, it gets real choppy. Get like real like real frame city right there. It's a frame city killer. Man, eight critical hits. But I do like what this game is going for mechanically, as far as like a like gun style rail shooter. Because, uh, because obviously, you know, you got your, you know, you're aiming and shooting and you can switch between different weapons. But like holding a button combined with, uh, you know, combined, uh, you know, with swinging it. Hopefully it can be a remake because this and Dark Side are very underrated. I'm inter I'm interested to see uh like uh how I feel about that at the end. Because like of like the sort of the railgun light gun style shooters that came out on the Wii, I was always very much like focused on the uh on like the Sega games, you know, like the ports of their arcade classics. Oh, here it is. Another reason why Billy's so cool. Drop kick. Very interesting. If to the cannon and then present complimenting stories. I was being transported. I, I could see that. Yeah. All the guards were killed. So you figured like, like the general gist I know about Umbrella well, Chronicles is that it does have like a big focus on me. Wesker with like his own specific scenario. And then the other thing that I'm aware about with Dark Side is Operation Javier. Javier, however you say it. It's it's supposed to be the thing that explains like the the last mission uh, that Leon and and uh, Krauser were on, which uh, led to like why he why he ends up being like a villain. Anyway, this is what I was talking about. Like the the frame rate, you could especially feel it die. Do you really believe the world is worth saving? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Whatever, a psycho like you can't bring order or balance. Yeah, it, it it's just it's just funny looking at it that this ah fuck ah fuck Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, 
I took some bad damage there from earlier because of the fucking... Just because of, like, my compulsive habit of, like, reloading after nearly every shot. Yeah. I'm also... I wouldn't be surprised if I missed, like, uh... Like a collectible pickup or two, which I'll... I'll definitely say as much. Do not expect me to get all of them for this playthrough because like if I if that's something I do that's gonna be like in my free time after the after I finish streaming it the first time and deciding if it's if it's something I like enough to uh, to go through on my own but I can at least say from my like from my other light gun related uh oh fuck I pressed A what the hell I guess it registered like you don't look so good Something oh fuck us. it time to fall back we can't just stand here we have to take it down be, uh, be, uh, what I was talking about is that I uh, is that uh, before this game I have played Resident Evil Dead Aim this way. which uh which for that uh, that particular one, that that was a fucking trip, and I do feel like with Dead Aim in particular, I got a better appreciation for it than most people ever would because I had, like, because I straight up have like a CRT and a gun con too, so I was able to play it the way that it was actually designed. That's like a, that's like half traditional Resident Evil, half light gun experience. Which, which, you know, like, the Resident Evil part of that equation, it, like, it didn't do that, it didn't do that part particularly well. Like, the, sh uh, like, the, the ship was cool enough, but it was definitely, like, very by the numbers in mid and, like, not that well inspired in how it implemented the formula. Oh, what the hell? That didn't even stagger the fucking thing? That aim's good. Maybe not a masterpiece, but it's fun. It is absolutely, like, a unique game, all things considered. And I do think of the Gun Survivor games, it's the one that, like, does the best job of, like, executing that concept. I will, I will give it that. And I, but I can see at the very least why, you know, after four attempts of those, one of which wasn't even a Resident Evil game, it was a fucking, like, spin-off slash sequel to, to Dino Crisis 2 of all things. That, like, yeah, I could, I could see the need for them to just keep things simple and do more of, like, a pure arcade rail shooter experience. This dude's just not stopping. <laughs> no Dino Crisis games were light gun arcade nobility. <laughs> I mean, that... <laughs> what, whatever, it's, it's not the same. It's like, okay, like, that first Dino Crisis, that was as much of a classic Resident Evil, but with dinos as you could get it to be. Uh, where, uh, and then, like... Two was just straight up, you know, that was just an, uh, like an arcade running gun game. Like, there was no light gun in that equation. Dino Stalker, meanwhile, was like the light gun game that was technically the third gun survivor. And that was a weird one. And then, of course, we don't talk about the actual dy uh, Dino Crisis 3. We just don't. Alright. We can't all be House of the Dead. True, we also can't all be Virtua Cops or Ghost Squad. 
Because, man, you want to talk about an ace fucking goddamn, like, uh, like, light gun shooter of all time. Ghost Squad is that. That game's fucking incredible. It's like, like, I opted to play this particular game on stream uh, with the idea that, like, I would just be getting back into Ghost Squad in my off time. And, and I've just been loving it all over again. Let's actually start with the submachine gun for this one. And now here's just like a text summary because we couldn't get the uh, Albert Wesker's voice actor to voice every single one of these openings. Which is a shame. You know, I think actually the like the third uh, stream title I potentially had for this was an it was an Albert Wesker audiobook. <laughs> God damn it, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I was, refer I was referring to, like, the Albert Wesker in this game. <laughs> Come on. Maybe it's Cam Clark and Nolan <laughs> doing the typewriter noises or something. Man. Man, if so, those two got some good Foley work. <laughs> They're really good at, like, impersonation. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah. But I can see the entrance. Roger. So I'm guessing you need a bodyguard, right? No. Do you? Jeez. A fucking sass in Rebecca's voice. All right. Now we get to play through the rest of, the, of Resident Evil Zero. But in a game that is probably not a tedious, uh, mediocre slog to get through. I just felt like doing that. I really do feel it was a missed opportunity to like recreate like the aspect of like crowd control with melee in RE4 by making it so that like when you did those like counter attack moves that you would actually like any enemy that you knocked away would have uh, 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 would have also collided with any enemies that were behind them. Oh come on! And then of course sometimes like the the motion control prompt just doesn't want to work. Ah fuck it. I mean, it's nothing short of a bit jank, but it's a sort of jank I can deal with. Definitely more than, like, something with, like, say, Remake 4, where, like, that's not even a matter of jank. That's just a matter of bad game feel. I don't see any monsters. Just in case, we better check upstairs. The Umbrella Management Training Facility. The first general manager, James Marcus. You know him? Just the name. He's been dead for some time now. Friendly looking guy. Even dead, he has quite a presence. Attention! This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent. I, as you would think that. Company motto. But, like. Obedience. House of the Dead 4 technically exists, and it does that. It's actually kind of a thing that makes its uh, gameplay of like fairly interesting more than you would expect. Because, well, well, admittedly in that game, I feel like it's a bit more necessary because you're actually dealing with insane amounts of of zombies on screen. So yeah, being able to like actually kind of manipulate whole crowds 
in that way. It makes a lot of sense. Not this way. Here. I don't know. It's inter it's interesting to like talk about like gun game mechanics as it were because it often does feel like because of the inherent simplicity of like the genre where you your whole your whole deal is that you aim at the screen and shoot is that like so many people kind of take We're that for granted through. like it's not possible of having any more nuance beyond that which considering how much i love ghost squad that game's entire existence is all nuance it clearly shows that no fuck you there is more to it than just aim at the screen and shoot the bad guys Fuck you, leech men. You're so much easier to deal with here than you ever were in Zero. You still even heard like a little bit of like the leech man's theme from RE Zero with like just the out of control flute playing. Damn it, I'm trying to... There it is. Man, really? Actually, the more you think about it... I, I, I think it's actually uh, very clear. How would a leech even get a good embouchure to play the flute anyway? <laughs> well, it's not the leech man playing it. It's it's the hype man who's off camera. <laughs> but it, but it's like what, what I was saying is that I I feel like the sort of thing that like so many people probably do not realize out uh, out right away or give enough credit to is that. Resident Evil 4, like, even, I'd say, like, the majority of, like, the action RE period, as it were, owes it, owes a lot more to, like, light gun games than people seem to realize or, like, give credit. Like, seriously, think about it. Like, think about it, like, vi uh, like very deeply. Yeah, let's go back. You know, like, yeah, you stand in place to sh and, and shoot. Like, that's the obvious one for pretty much all of them prior to Resident Evil 6. But then there's, like, just think of, like, all the various things you can interact with in the environment via a gun. Including some puzzles, like the clock tower. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the other scene I remember seeing that just further solidifies this game. Making P Billy even more of a badass. Just... He takes the other cuff in his hand and holds it like it's a brass knuckle. Thank you. Why did this I'm character so have to be relegated to such a mediocre Resident Evil? We were ordered to attack the village. Oh yeah, this fucking FMV. It's like. <laughs> Like, like, as far as, like, visual content, this game is absolutely, like, a case of reusing those particular assets, but it's reused in a context that is, like, encouraging to see. So, what happened in that village? You can't talk about it, can you? Yeah. Yeah, like, RE0 is definitely, uh, not, uh, not Zero, I meant, like, Resident Evil in general has definitely had, like, a strong focus on, like, very strict limitations in design and having to, like, work within those to, like, maximize the fun that can be had. What good would it do? It won't change but even, like, in RE4's case, it's like, yeah, like, the, the ways that you can interact with objects via a gun, even, even for stuff where it's, like, you technically have an action prompt to, uh... Uh, to like interact with it you could still shoot certain switches to have them do things and then of course there's even like the enemy hit reactions the fact that like you have enemies attacking in ways that yeah. it's not too dissimilar Survival to what first. you get in light gun games like 
You know, House of the Dead has enemies that will, like, throw objects at you. RE4 also does that with, like, axe throwers and things like that. And then you get some that have, like, shields, you know, with, like... And there are enemies in, like, Time Crisis and Ghost Squad that also have, like, their own riot shields. Like, if this game had a user-controlled camera, it would be an insanely different experience. Yeah, which is extra weird because this game technically lets you, like, manipulate the camera slightly with, like, the analog stick on the nunchuck. But it it adjusts the view in a direction in, s in such a limited way that, like, I almost find it, like, superfluous, really. Get off me! Oh good, some health. Yeah. An elevator. This'll get us up. And I think actually, like, you know, thinking about it more like with the light gun comparisons to like Resident Evil 4 and whatnot. I think that's partly why I have been so adamant about wanting, like, like a proper, uh, like, standalone Mercenaries game that isn't, like, you know, the 3DS game. And how it's like, not only do I want that sort of experience as a standalone, but I also want it to be, like, the most structured, like, an ar arcade game imaginable. And the reason for that is just because of, well, like... Two, uh, two reasons, one of which is that, like, Mercenaries, by its very nature, is very much an arcade game. You go into a level and, like, it's designed to take, like, a set amount of time, whether it's to run out the clock completely or to get all 150 enemy kills. But also, I feel like, even then, stuff with, like, level design and progression and whatnot could, like, stand to, uh... It could definitely stand to do a lot to, uh, uh, as far as, like, being inspired by things like Ghost Squad and the like. As far as how that game handles, like, its increase in difficulty and encounters. Because it's like, that game's only three missions. But those missions have, like, 16 difficulty levels that, like, slowly but consistently escalate. Imagine a user-created map community like Thief Hat. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, like, th like, that would be the other fun thing to have with, like, a, uh, uh, w uh with, like, a, a standalone Mercs game is, like, having some kind of mod support to let people create more custom maps. Because we definitely have, like, plenty of instances where it's, like, you know, for stuff like RE5 and 6, people will absolutely mod the hell out of that game to, like, replace characters with, like, different, uh, different skins. But there's never really been anything as far as I was able to notice for like, uh, for like completely new maps. But also it, I, I would just be fine with taking the Ghost Squad approach of just have like a small curated selection of like three to four maps. But all of them can, uh, can like, you can modify how they are in terms of difficulty based on your liking. Fuck you, Eliminators! What the hell? Oh, fuck off! Man, even in a light gun shooter, Eliminators are still dicks.
Okay, and I had to start back here. Fine. Like, the tricky part with them is that, like, for pretty much almost all enemies, like, there is a, there is a critical weak point that, uh, that you're designed to hit. Which I, which I appreciate that particular design decision. But also, man, trying to do it on a moving target like Eliminators, that's definitely not fun. Okay. The vulnerable spot is just their head. Like in an elevator. This'll get us up. I I I think in general it, yeah, it is supposed to be like the the head region. The thing about their weak point is I guess because their head is already a lot smaller that it's already by default a lot smaller than a zombie, so you don't need that extra incentive to like shoot them directly in a specific part of the head. Because with zombies, the critical is the forehead. It's literally the part of the head that holds the brain. You know, which is why you've kind of seen me whenever I've been aiming at a zombie. I try and aim for like the edge on like the top of their head. Eliminators don't really... You don't need to worry about that. The problem with Eliminators is that they move fucking fast. Like so. And also really hard to fucking hit. Someone needs to mod in the spinning light hats from Ape Escape for them. Oh man. No, not just the spinning hats, just replace the entire model with like the Ape Escape apes. Just do that. Truth be told, it would probably make them make me hate them even more. Okay. I think I'm at a better place for health now. Ugh, it smells like the zoo. Okay. I hate every ape I see from... Oh, god damn it. Damn it, Grunt! <laughs> okay, shotgun for these assholes! Give these fucking apes no quarter. How the hell did I keep missing all that? You don't look so good. No shit. What the fuck? The armor's in the way. Oh my god, that was terrible. Oh, thank God. No. You're not familiar with The Simpsons Planet of the Ace musical? I'm I'm not. Uh, unfortunately, I am not. I must admit, like, when it comes to Simpsons references, because of just how many they are, there are and how plentiful, I sometimes forget when someone is actually making, a, like, a specific reference or not, or if they just made it up.
boy, it sure is a pain trying to fight the leechmen when you don't have any more, like, sub-weapons. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I couldn't see if there was anything in that box. We made it outside. Ah, <sighs> Christ. Are you all right, Rebecca? Yeah. Something's coming! Back in the Phil Hartman was alive days and the lead was Troy McGlur. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. All right. Time for the worst bat of the original. Uh, worst boss of the original game. Now made, I'm going to assume, infinitely more tolerable than it ever was. By nature of being a light gun boss. Oh, yeah, you can at least knife the little bastards as they come in. Oh, fuck you! I seriously need more than just... Oh, my God, thank you. That was actually what I was needing first. Some health. Fuck you, little bats. What you got? Hell, I was... Ah, fuck off. I feel like those shots should have been hitting it. I feel like that should have stopped it from... Ah. Oh, who cares? I can't get a clear shot. What now? We have to go up. Better hope there's more healing items on the top of this roof. God damn. Okay. I better not die again. There you go. Oh my god. Jeez. Really wishing I had more more ammo for these guns right now. Oh well, it's something, I guess. I'll take it. 12 shotgun shots. Not wasting my shotgun shells explicitly on you little bastards. Oh, come on! It had to miss. You son of a fuck. It really does. I forget if there's, like, even a, a flamethrower that you can unlock. Come on! There we go! Still better than having to fight that asshole in the actual Resident Evil Zero. Oh my god, okay. Or that, yeah. Alright, let's upgrade another weapon. Yeah, might as well this shotgun. I have no idea if there is ultimately going to be something like a, like a proper upgrade path to follow going from like a new game or something, but fuck it. 
I'm just focusing on getting through these uh, through these chapters as best I can. I think, based on what I recall seeing as far as the total chapters from like a Game Facts guide, I'm going to focus on pretty much everything right up until like the start of the mansion incident. You know, this this will basically be the RE Zero episode of the of the stream. Anyway, I sure hope this next I sure hope this next level also has a absolutely amazing display of what a badass Billy fucking Cohen is. I'll bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. Oh, how how nice to just How nice to just give us a first aid spray right at the start. Actually, oh wait, oh fuck, I think I just realized where we are now. We we're technically in the in the uh, part of of original RE0 that was just Up there, watch out. the most ridiculous. Oh, fuck you. <clears throat> Got it. Square in the head. Seriously, it should be... Ugh. Why is it so hard to hit these bastards? You don't look so good. Oh my god. I was not expecting to have this much trouble with those fuckers. Why the hell? Actually, fuck that. I am not I am not wasting that first aid spray right there of all things because of these fucking monkeys. I bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. I do think this is kind of highlighting for me sort of the thing that I'd occasionally heard about, mostly I think in relation to Dark Side Chronicles, but I feel like I can tell this game is like partially guilty of this as well. And I think the reason for that is that like just the camera movement is not good. Indeed I did, yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you, Doctor Floor Pills for, uh, uh, for for having the the good observation. Why the fuck is it so hard to stagger these white bastards? Why the hell? You don't look so good. Fuck! Ugh. Shotgun's the best thing I have to down them with. And yet, oh my god. Why? Again, the same fucking spot. Like, yeah, the, like, just the way... I see RE0 is still annoying him as a rail shooter. Yeah, that's that's the unfortunate part I've come to realize. Like, I'm not spent... I'm, I know I'm not going to be spending nearly as much time giving us a poison banana somewhere. Ugh. Maybe. I don't know, but right now we're at the part of the game where we inexplicably go to the, like, 
the Raccoon City Umbrella Labs from RE2. Even though they're supposed to be eight fucking miles away from the, the, the Umbrella Training Facility. Which is why, like, everyone jokes about, like, the bullshit that is the magic, uh, the magic elevator. But yeah, it's just, like, camera movements, while not as shaky, I would say, compared to what I have seen briefly of Darkseid Chronicles, it does, it does contribute quite a bit to, like, why I did not feel an initial need to check this game out compared to the other light gun shooters in the system. Mm. Because it just feels so... Maybe Black Mate... That was a joke. Not <laughs> a fat chance. Oh my god. You know, more I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have, like, put this game down to easy. <laughs> uh, actually, no. That that might not be fair, but it's probably too early for me to, like, say whether or not it would be better played on the easiest difficulty. But this is kind of a dumb thing to have to juggle. Oh my god. So many fucking lights that you could just shoot out for no reason. Okay. Yeah, see, here we are. The entrance to the fucking RE2 labs. For no reason. And people give so much shit to Dark Souls 2 for, like, its environments not lining up as like a cohesive map but fuck it it's a fantasy game this one has less excuse for that although i guess if we're here that means we're most likely coming up on something big fucking proto tyrant For real though, it's like, and and I, and I guess like in a way, I think while ultimately better than this, I do think uh, House of the Dead Overkill was like a simil was like another case of like being, like, of being way in love with like unsteady camera that would be explicitly designed to kind of fuck up your uh, your ability to hit things reliably. Oh, that's it. Interactive environments with destructible geometry. <laughs> Game features! Jesus fucking Christ, why can you not interrupt their attacks? Stop making me feel like I'm playing Remake 4, damn it! I don't want to feel that way! He's <laughs> wearing his heart on his sleeve and his sleeve on his neck. It <laughs> And his spine. It, like, cause, uh, cause Proto Tyrant's spine is exposed, which is like the, the other thing that lets you know that, like, it's kind of busted and not actually, uh, like, uh, the proper successful iteration of the Tyrant. Fuck you, leeches. And thanks for giving me my grenade back. But I need more than just grenades right now, in all honesty. I need fucking herbs. I do not have time for you! At least those monkeys behave this time. Oh, thank God. Mmm, delicious herbs. Munch on them. 
Grind them up. Put them in a paper. Uh, roll them up in a paper. Smoke them. That's the real way to administer these medicinal herbs from the Arclay region. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. Oh, thank God. I just have to tap the button instead of waggle. 420 isn't until Thursday, man. Don't care. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, I just realized. They've not shown us young Marcus. Oh, my God. Oh, they, That's the guy from the picture. They're just... They're actually just sticking with old ass James Marcus. Ten years ago, Spencer Honestly, this this is a change that is way more sensical because fucking hell if you remember what young Doctor uh, Doctor Marcus looks like in his fucking like Wilma Flintstone white gown and shit, singing opera. I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate. Mm. Alas, he is not, uh, he is not suddenly barfing out leeches. That fucking CG is quite funny. <laughs> Alright, here it is. All I got is my fucking pistol, so... Oh, never mind. No critical that I could see, unfortunately. Oh wait! Yes! Grenade launcher! Oh my god, it actually just goes through. That 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 kind of sucks, in all honesty. Oh fuck you, I damn it's not working! Okay, just... Marcus is sounding like he's played too many Kojima games. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of has that vibe. I mean, I mean, this game did come out in 2007, and it's, like, sort of in that period of time where it really does feel a lot like they were trying to, to infuse, like, a lot of melodrama in uh in like the Resident Evil setting. Jesus Christ, he could have started moving faster. Please just go through the door. Why are you still Why? Oh my god. What the hell? What the fuck? How do you even stop that? Oh my god. I am, in all honesty, tempted to just, like, bump this down to, like, easy difficulty just so I can fucking, like, not spend way too much time on this. On this game in general. Stagger better when you hit the red. Well, yeah, that that's what I'm trying to aim for consistently. The problem is, is like, this is also why if you're doing a boss in a light gun game, you gotta fucking, like, actually show your goddamn health bars.
Like, so much of this is just, like, shoot repeatedly until you eventually do, like, some amount of damage that it will, like, move on to the next phase. Oh, my God. Yeah, but just, like, everything is designed to move in a way that, like, it just feels unnatural trying to, like, hit it. Oh, fuck. I forgot to reload the shotgun. How do I shoot? Uh, how do I shoot the progress flags? Yeah. Yeah, that's literally it. Oh, seriously, what the fuck? No shit, I do. Like, what is even the point of this grenade launcher if it just goes through him? Why the fuck did you make a grenade launcher that doesn't explode on contact with the enemy? What the fuck? Seriously. Oh my fucking god. I think so, yeah. I mean, keep in mind, the developer of this specifically that Capcom commissioned was Cavia. The house that uh, that was host to Drakengard and Nier. Seriously, it's like it's like fucking reeling his head back in a way that it becomes hard to hit. Like, what the fuck do I do then? And this game has, like, a weird approach to reloading on top of it, where it's like, if you expend your entire clip, it takes longer to reload than if you were to just... Uh, than if you were to just reload after, like, one bullet or two. Which seems like kind of a shitty way to, like, prey on, like, my already compulsive habit when playing these games. And really, even if I can't survive, it's always... It is always every time he gets to the part where he just, like, gets the bigger tentacles. You had to do an undocumented eight real hour side quest earlier to make this people. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, finally. Oh. I didn't even mean to use, like, a grenade there. Ah, fuck it. Come on, move. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, yeah, just straight up. After this, bumping the difficulty down to easy. Not worth it, like, as far as learning this game. Like, at the, at the end of the day, though, I do honestly believe this might still be a better way to experience Resident Evil Zero than to actually play it. This monster doesn't know when to give up. But I would also maybe quant uh, qualify that perhaps it would be a lot easier to... Fuck you, I was shit... Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah. You're on a fun killer that uh, that's even got fun in it. Fair. Yeah. 
I think it's just more like, I guess the original thought I was trying to get at before I was really interrupted by the Queen Leech was, uh... Is basically... I feel like this would be infinitely more fun if I had, like, all of the weapons unlocked and upgraded anyway, you know? Because of, because of there being, like, an entire, like, weapon upgrading system this shit has. You still gonna do the Magnum shot? Which admittedly is kind of one of the lamest kills in RE history because it just does not have to... Oh no! Th oh, there is more! Oh, fuck me! I gotta keep it in... Yeah, push it back. Finally, this is at least... This is at least more of a real boss fight. Yeah, back in... That seems to drive it back. Also, this voice actor for Billy sounds a lot like Billy Cohen. Uh, uh, like... No, I meant... Fuck, what did I say? I meant this voice actor for Billy Cohen. At times, he sounds a lot like Troy Baker. Even though I'm pretty sure from what I gleaned of the credits is that he's not. He's like some other... Some other unknown. Get in there, you bastard! There! Over here, freak! Yeah, still better than what you actually had to do when fighting the Queen Leech in the original game. It is ultimately a marginal improvement, but it's something. Okay. I'm saving the rest of my shotguns for when you get pushed back into the open light. Oh my god. Troy Baker's been in RE Project before, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, but I feel like it's like the most prominent one that he was in was in RE6 where he was Jay. Have Ada throw you a rocket launcher? N wrong game. That hasn't happened yet. Ada would probably look at this guy and be like, who? He's not a Leon. He can handle himself. Oh my god, just... What's with this thing? That's what I'm asking. What the fuck? Like, I get the gimmick, obviously. But it's obviously very, very difficult. Billy seems a lot more confident than Leon. Billy is not a sub, let's be real. Like, Leon, especially by the time of RE4, he's capable of doing some cool shit. But he just goes for all full puppy dog eyes. Whenever Ada shows up, Billy wouldn't even care. Yes, this is the Wii version. Jesus fucking Christ.
Like, like I feel like the emphasis that this fight has on, like, needing to hit the fucking, like, critical weak spot to push it back, like, reliably is too finicky. Because I know the general area. It's, it's like the mouth. But with how often it moves, combined with my cursor, it is designed to be so hard to consistently get. And now I think I've hit the part where, like, the fight is gonna actively become unfun because of this. Okay, he's finally moving back some. Most games with boss weak points get really coy about letting you hit them. Yeah, yeah, you'd you'd say that, but like, I feel like even then, some of those are a lot more sensibly designed than this than this game kind of is. There, I mean, like, there is still like, I still think there's some absolute fun to be had with like the mechanics of it, and I feel if I did have a lot of the better weapons and whatnot, this would 100% be like more enjoyable. What the hell? Wait, it swallowed us whole. Fool, I am still here. Oh my god. Get the Caesar weapon design team in here. Jeez, tell me about it. Wait, that's it? Okay, fine. I guess even this game realized it would have been, like, too undeserving to, like, have it be finished with, like, a magnum round. People are waiting for me. You saved Hyrule! <laughs> Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Rebecca, thank you. Oh, yeah. Look at this fucking Tekken 2 ending shot. Is he gonna get the... No, they're not even gonna l let him give the goofy thumbs up afterwards. Made it out alive. Lucky, I suppose. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. Oh, my God. <sighs> That was a mess. Wow, I didn't even find a fucking... Like, single file. Wesker scenario. Yeah, so... So I'm gonna bump it down to easy, just to make sure... Okay, I, I do actually like that detail, now that I'm looking at it, where it's like... The, uh... Where, like, basically all three of these, if you were to combine them, they would be the length of, like, their own arcade shooter. Which, yeah, I, I could get behind that, you know? As much as this is very clearly designed for, like, a console environment by a developer that has clearly never done an arcade-like gun shooter in their life. Yes, I did set it to easy. That's what we're going with, just so I can be sure that I get to the fucking end of this game on stream. But let's check out Wesker himself. And like, just the, the goofy new, like, uh, new goofy shit that they add to this. In terms of plot. And... Um. I think there's like two chapters the to like this to particular Wesker scenario. Scenario was scrapped by Marcus's unfortunate outburst. Not only that, but the incident appeared to spread the virus to the area surrounding the mansion, causing a biohazard outbreak. It is time to abandon the sinking ship that is Umbrella. 
Hmm. Ah, yes. Here's the, here's the place where freaking Wesker and Birkin are having the lamest Saturday night known to man. <laughs> Just watching can't hide this anymore. Rebecca. It appears. Rebecca and Umbrella Billy. Is finished. We're just gonna walk away? Our research isn't complete. We can make a more powerful virus. Hey, TJ so Rotolo. Like? I recognize you from Dead the Rising, Mr. Frank West. And only needs test data. That is why Stars is in place. Which, oh god, if I'm remembering I correctly, I forget if... I don't think he was the voice in like the in the RE2 remake, but Damn like it. it sounded close. I better get rid of this place before there are any more complications. Hmm. Man. Oh yeah, here it is. Wesker here. I will use the ropeway to return to the training facility and depart from there. Please let this just be full on catharsis for me. Oh yeah, Magnum. I'm saving that for special occasions. Alright. At least here, this is like a... F you know, like, actually having a playable Wesker scenario like this does a better job of kind of justifying... Not completely, but slightly more why the hell Rebecca and Billy even ended up all the way at the RE2 labs. You know? Because, uh, because at least in this case, it's like Wesker and Birkin were hanging out here. So yeah, no, no, no wonder he would like have a way to uh, to make it over. Oh, oh, there, there's the fucking. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually uh, aware of that uh, that particular detail from like the very original uh, Resident Evil. Oh my god, this Samurai Edge 2 is sure as hell better than, like, the dinky fucking pistol I was using. Well, oh wait, no, I actually remembered. I'm playing on easy. Right. The Eliminators are infinitely more manageable now. Fucking monkeys. Why didn't the spiders eat the apes, damn it? That's a good question. There's still bastards to hit, though. And I absolutely just dislike the way that, like, the camera is designed to kind of... I get the idea of it trying to, like, follow them. But in a light gun shooter like this, I feel that's, like, more distracting. Uh, in the long run, trying to, like, line up your shots. Damn it. At least I got pretty good with the, uh, with, uh, with the fucking, uh, critical shots. Which quest could we brought back already? Yeah. I don't know. I, I could maybe kind of understand the reasoning if only because of all the other hacky plot decisions this series has made up to this point. But I, th uh, but I think just the bigger problem of that is more it just kind of reinforcing the problem that modern RE has where it has like a really hard time trying to like get any of its new characters to stick past like 
past the OG cast, you know? Like, if it's not anyone that was introduced in RE1 or RE0 or RE2, they might as well not fucking matter to everyone. Which sucks, because there's some really good characters from, like, all the other games that deserve a second chance, you know? Like, give the B-listers, uh, like, like, their time to shine again. Peace, yeah, 10 critical hits. Wesker does not fuck around. That's what I'm saving that Magnum for. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Although, like... Although, Pierce is technically dead, to, uh, you know, what with, like, juicing him up as, as a bioweapon to save Chris. But, yeah, Jake coming back, especially the, in, a, in a form that would be, like, less generic... But, I mean, I've been saying it for years. Bring back Billy fucking Cohen. Sheva definitely deserves uh, deserves a comeback a lot, though. Because it's like... Oh! Oh, yeah. There we go, Jesus. All right. Although, oh God, we're gonna have to, we're seriously gonna have to go through the, like the entire elevator climb up again, are we? Is this it? Oh no, it's, it's, okay. Oh wait, okay, it's a bit different this time. <laughs> Proto Tyrant. Here's gone done dirty as bow spray just to kill him off in the same game. Yeah. I mean to be fair though, RE's existence in a lot of ways did a lot of things dirty. Pretty much everything that wasn't mercenaries. Oh my god, how did I not get... How did I not get hit by that swipe? I must have interrupted it at the last possible second. Thank god for all that machine gun ammo. Please no more- Oh, fuck off! Apparently even this refuse has T's recovery ability.
Oh, but, oh, but he is weak as shit. Wow. How bad for you. <laughs> yeah, eat a dick. It's brittle. The BOW <laughs> still needs a little more work. Ain't that the truth? You know, just to make sure it's dead. Whew. That was beginnings part one. And there's chapter two. Yeah, we'll do chapter two, which I believe is the last of like the beginning scenario. And we will definitely then call it quits. Wait, hold on. No, I should be using this for... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll upgrade that and then go in with that. Because I, I appreciate a good Magnum. There we go. Let's do this. Let's get through the rest of retreading the RE0 location, but as Albert fucking Wesker. I really do like this this uh, background theme that that's still playing, like uh, during Wesker's scenario. Like it's the one that I use for like the pre-stream screen of the game. Oh my god! Still doing that for old time's sake. Jesus. Yeah, fuck you, monkeys. Wait, was that an umbrella fight? It was. Oh my god. I actually got through that eliminator section without getting hit this time. I feel relieved. Yeah, honestly, I think I am starting to, like, find my fun with this again. And I think that's entirely on the basis that I have, like, put this down to, like, a more manageable difficulty setting. Just so I can see all of the scenarios through the first time, you know? Like, I get the reasoning for why, like, you know, people would, like, play games on their default or even their hardest set uh, setting. Oh. Mostly those that I know personally that, like, tend to play on the hardest already. Uh, especially if it's for, like, established franchises like this, where, like, that kind of makes sense. But, but, I, but I prefer to learn the game in an environment that's, like, the least frustrating as possible. Before I decide to get really serious with it, you know? And usually, like... Normal is, like, a, a setting that can, like, do a good job of that. But that's obviously hard to justify if you're doing it in a game that's, like, kind of okay and janky like this one. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I think, like, also, like, even on the, e you know, easy difficulty aside, I do feel like part of it is that, like, I'm starting to get a better hang of, like, the AI for the Eliminators and how they move and how you should, like, hit them. So, who knows? There might be a chance where, like, I replay this game again all the way through on normal or even hard and I actually do a lot better, uh, like, a lot better job of getting through it and things like that. There we go. <sighs> Again, I just hate that feeling sometimes where it's like... You should have been able to, like, stagger that, but it, ju it just didn't want to go that way. But I guess it does have to do with, like, certain enemy types where that applies. Still sucks, though. Bet they'd be scared of you. You had a gun to launch his apes. <laughs> oh... That'd be something. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, God. This is actually kind of genius. They're introducing Crimson Heads. They're actually introducing Crimson Heads into the game scenario that should have had them. Along with all the other good ideas that Resident Evil Remake had. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's something. Wow, we really are just going backwards, aren't we? We're we're literally going in the exact opposite direction that like Wesker, that like that uh, that Billy and Rebecca came in. That it that is really silly in all honesty, but I also get why it's like that because you know reusing assets. Gavi is a cheap developer. They clearly were not giving it a lot of money to work with us. But just the entire level backwards. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it was kind of pleasant, though, just getting to see, hey, yo, Crimson Heads are back. It works for racing games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mirror mode. Mirror mode in racing games, like, that genre has that excuse. It's fine. I allow it. <laughs> okay. Now, all right, CG, what do we have? Oh, boy. <laughs> Where might you be going, Conrad? My oh, my God. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. Hi, Patrick Sates. But now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. 
You can't just do what you feel. Oh my god, this this fake Russian accent, the knife licking. Oh. Maybe you need a little reminder. Holy shit. Like this is this is exactly the kind of original content for Resident Evil during this time period that is like so absurd. Oh my god, and and now we're dealing with our own like white coat cultist Mr. X. This is so stupid. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit. Hold on. Wait a sec. I got a rocket launcher. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. You asshole. You would not let me grab that weapon. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, what the hell? No, nope, no, it's definitely the head. That's 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 where the biggest like uh muzzle flash sparks are. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Seriously, like th like this entire character, this Sergey motherfucker. Like it is immediately giving me like Revelations 1 vibes of it's just like these side characters they come up with are just the most ill-fitting for the, the entire series. To take care of anyway. Everything for Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion, and the real struggle was about to begin. I think that... And that part, I think, is what also makes this, uh, the way this is put together also feel similarly cheap, is the, like, the single, like, hand-drawn final shot at the, at the end of the scenario. It's like, man, they, they really had plans for what they wanted this game to be, but just refused to put money into it. And somehow I found all three of those files on chapter two. Okay. Well, I'd say that's tonight. Uh, that's it for like the first night of this fucking game. <laughs> what a weird thing. I definitely did go. It, it's it's weird like. No matter how much you go into something expecting a certain level of jank, it definitely finds ways to still surprise you in spite of that. I successfully Wiimoted. Sure did. Yeah, that was a... It's a weird thing, but like also kind of fun, all things considered. I, I kind of dug it. I think as long as I stick with easy mode to start, I uh, just for the purpose of getting through, I, th I think this will be fine as the kind of like a short playthrough to focus on. Alright, but... Thanks to everyone that stuck around to watch me go through this schlock. It is, it is fun just seeing like whatever like kind of weird 
forgotten stuff you dig up from, like, gaming yesteryear. Although, if I'm already having the troubles with, like, kind of how this game handles things as a railgun shooter, I feel like... I feel like if the if the thought of doing Dark Side Chronicles show comes up later on, I feel like I'm gonna be in for like a way more rough time. But I don't know. We'll 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 get there when we get there. But I am calling it for tonight. And I'll just continue this on uh, on Wednesday. So take care of yourselves, everyone. Have a good night.